there darlings welcome back to my channel thank you so very much for stopping by today as you can see I'm wearing another blonde unit and this is to show you that regardless of your complexion you can wear blondes as well it's only dependent on how you wear it if you have a darker complexion I would advise that you keep the roots dark or what you can also do is to tone the hair so that you can get the right blonde to match your complexion in light of it being summer where people wear a lot of curly hair or blondes I've decided to put the two together to get this curly unit today and this is a natural curly unit it's not been steamed to get these curls this is the curl of the donor which means that it will always be the curl pattern of this unit unless you strain it and damage your hair and then it becomes less curly or coily another technique is to use an arrangement of blondes and it will likely match your skin complexion now what we will be doing in today's video is that I'll be showing you how to create a curly unit and in a separate video I'll also be showing you how to install a closure now if you would like to see how I get this done please stay tuned all right guys so as you see I'm using the same cap I use in all my videos this is the one I enjoy using it is breathable and adjustable and I'm just here holding the hair in place because I do not like to pierce the weft I go under but I sew it very firmly so that it stays in place so as you can see I'm using the blanket stitch to do this and I'm going on and on and on So for those of you who are having some trouble in estimating how much bundles will fit on the hair, this is a method you can use and this includes the tailor's chalk. What you'll do is to mark where you believe the bundles will end and that will allow you to properly cover the wig cap. So we'll be using four bundles for this unit. So I'll be marking off four different sections not including the closure section. So to be sure that you have the right amount of space for everything, it would be very wise to use the closure to mark out where that will take up on the wig cap as well to prevent overusing the hair or underusing the hair. So as you work you want to just use a clip and clip away the closure so that you protect the curls on the hair. So I'm going back and forth using the blanket stitch and I'm pulling the thread pretty tightly so that everything stays in place. With practice, you'll be able to lay the wefts in the right portions, which will allow you to follow the lines you've created. And I'm here folding over the hair so as not to cut it. And this is very important. You can use a T-pin to hold the hair in place so that you can create a very flat stitch.
at this point the curls are looking pretty good and there's only two bundles remaining I'm not sure if it matters to you but it certainly matters to me I like to have a very neat stitch pattern so as you can see it's all evened out because you don't want to have one side of your unit being heavier than the other So here we are installing the closure. We have that in another video, so if you'd like to see that in its entirety, you can look out for that one. It should be coming up shortly. For those of you who had doubt that the closure was too short, this is curly hair. It is quite forgiving. It blends seamlessly into the longer bundles. And of course, a unit without baby hairs these days is just plain. So I'm taking out the baby hairs. I'll be able to customize this on the client when she comes in the morning to try the unit. It's not going to be too much as you can see. So this is the finished product. Thank you so very much for watching guys. Hope this was helpful.